change. It can be really overwhelming and obvious like a bulldozer, or it can be as subtle and quick as a blink of an eye. And it doesn't matter, somehow we've got to deal with change in some of the same ways. In this video, I want to share a story that happened recently with me and give you three tips to deal with change, and then plus a bonus. I'm Karen Valencic. I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I've been working with leaders and teams for over three decades to help them master the art of conflict and come together to create. So recently, on a Monday morning, the street outside my house was swarmed with all kinds of road equipment, many of which I could not even identify, but bulldozers were amongst those. And I found that when I tried to get out of my driveway, which I do frequently because I work out of the house, I was like going through a gauntlet, going through this change. And at the same time, there were so many noises. There was beeping, there was scraping, there were people yelling, um, and all kinds of other noises that come along with scraping pavement. Ooh, I found myself having to hide upstairs in a remote closet to do some of my Zoom meetings. Got into some dust up there and I found a little, another little challenge with having to cough while I was speaking. So I need to get up there and dust. So the point of this video is, you know, it would have been really nice to have had a heads up that this change was going to happen. I would have scheduled some things differently had I known there would be this big change happening right outside my door and in my street. So that's the first tip, is if you can, and you can't always, but let people know that there's a change coming and what to expect. Number two is, I know my neighbors and I, we were kind of baffled at to what are they actually doing out there. They were digging some really deep holes, and then they would leave, and then they'd come back. And so I went out and talked to the people on the project. And what I learned was that they were fixing the foundation but the end goal was they were going to repave the entire street. Now this is wonderful news because what happens where I live is that gives it a foundation so we don't get potholes like we so often do here. So communicating what is the end? And now I could really get into the fact that every time I had to go through that gauntlet or hide in my closet, I could picture and imagine what it's gonna be like to have this brand new smooth road. So that's tip number two, really paint the picture of what it's gonna be like after the change. So along the way here too, you know, I had a lot of, of people, men and women out in the street, but by my house working. And I'd go out there and actually a lot of times they were grilling out lunch. I mean, that was quite a community that was happening. And what I made a point to do is to communicate with these people. What it did, it made me feel more connected to the change. And I think it uplifted their spirits a little bit. Even one day there was a, a man at the end of my driveway and he looked a little bit frazzled. And I said to him, I said, this is gonna be so wonderful when you're finished. And he kind of laughed, but, I, but what can I do to help the people that are trying to do the change, I shouldn't say trying to, but that are implementing the change, sometimes we can be hard on them. And I know it lifted my spirits and my attitude as much as it did theirs. So there you have three tips for change. And of course, this is a bigger topic than just these three things. But I hope you can imagine my story and imagine how nice it is to not have all that heavy equipment out there anymore and now only have the sound of of blowers and lawnmowers out there occasionally. So I said there'd be a bonus. And what I always like to point out to people is there is a trilogy, change, conflict, and innovation. Those three items are very close cousins and you don't get one of them without the other two. And I think that's really important to keep in mind when you're going through things. Now, to me, the cousin that you've got to watch out for and it's the hardest to handle is conflict. And so that's why I specialize in conflict mastery. And I want to invite you to go and watch my very first introduction in my course, The Foundations and Philosophies of Conflict Mastery. 
you can go to www.conflictmasterycourse.com and it'll give you an introduction to this work. So thanks so much for hanging in there with me and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.